What's up, everybody? We are back on the air, and I am a little wet. <laughs> we uh, had a lot of salt water there about a minute ago. I was out there by the uh, causeway. Um, did a little video. Um, heading down to St. Pete. We got that storm line coming, and the water is rising in the bay. So my uh, my plan eight hours ago was to head to uh, Pinellas County, Lower Pinellas County, and uh, see if we get any water rise while the squall line is uh, nearing us. So it's already making its way ashore, uh, almost out to Springs, pretty gnarly line of storms right now there's a few advisories in newport ritchie right now there's a cell that looks uh pretty suspicious on newport ritchie getting close to tarpon now our main line is uh not quite here yet this is going to be a fast mover because i'm telling you what once it passes through you're gonna see blue sky and uh Weekend is on. But we got to get through this little squall line. There's a lot of uh, severe thunderstorm warnings right now. Nothing. To... Oh, there was a tornado warning actually on the other coast right now. We just got one popped up south of Jacksonville. Tornado warning. There's been quite a few tornado warnings. I don't know whether or not anything verified or not, but. What's up, Brew Crew? Florina getting some thunder. All right, we just got a new missile scale advisory. It looks like highlighting that line. So we're gonna turn here in a mile. We're about six miles from where I, uh, I want to go. We're gonna go down to Lower St. Pete here and uh, watch this thing come ashore. We're on 275 right now, hit the southbound. Windy out there. I just posted that video. Everybody's like, ah, it's Courtney Campbell. Well, I know it's Courtney Campbell. The sign that was blowing sideways uh, said Courtney Campbell on it. <laughs> the fact is, we got straight winds coming right up the bay right there, and that's what smacks those causeways. The problem we got here in Tampa, man, is uh, the bridges are up above water, but guess what? The causeways aren't. So if we ever get a storm and get, well, we've had we've had the causeways, uh, Howard Franklin and uh, Courtney Kimball closed before. I mean, the bridge is going to be out of water, but the causeway might not be. All it does takes is a big push of wind and high tide. We had a storm. I think it was called uh, Tropical Storm Debbie one time back a long time ago. And it closed down all of our bridges, and it was a tropical storm way off the coast. All right, so let's see what kind of warnings we got popping up here. We got all kinds of marine warnings, wind warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings. The only tornado showing up is on the other coast around Middleburg. Why does this thing tell me to go this way? I don't know. Oh man, I missed the light. Oops. Head over here to the bay. I think I put the wrong thing in navigation here.
for the Rays, man. We're down here. Yeah, I've never been down to Shore Acres. They flood real easy. And then we'll maybe cruise over to Pinellas County because they're hot. They're they're expected to be about one o'clock. Um, high tide about one. Clearwater, St. Pete, everybody's supposed to have their highest tide around one o'clock. Showing about four foot. That's very very close to December, but different scenario. But still, I think we're going to see some surprise. Um, water may maybe high tide about one o'clock that's a cruise out here radar man I mean we're gonna get a line here really soon here some pretty big winds oh we got a bunch of warnings around Ocal and home Assassin Springs right now Stoplights sideways. <laughs> well, we started streaming this morning about five o'clock. Uh, five o'clock somewhere, a.m. <laughs> we watched the sunrise together. And uh, had some interesting few moments. For sure. What's up, Mr. Dusty? James Ford, Port St. Lucie. Yeah, it'll probably make its way down there. I don't know if it's going to have a lot of pop left, though. You'll get a little squall line later today, James. And then you'll have cool air. I got clobbered with salt water. Uh, <laughs> I'm a... Uh, Soaking wet. I don't know if you saw the video I just posted, but um, we had a lot of water coming over that seawall. So all the years I've never been to Shore Acres. They they're always talk about them getting a lot of water right here. I kind of want to go to the other side of Pinellas County though, but we'll, we'll do both. The big wind shift comes a little stoplights are like sideways um the big wind shift is uh coming i, I keep it on uh, my Knoll school site here it's still a ways away but once that does that wind shift we're gonna have a straight west wind for a little while pushing at high tide right at one o'clock i think that's when we're gonna have the best chance for any sort of sneaky surge coming up had me a burrito at a gas station. What the hell station? It was uh, pretty damn good. It was that. Uh, well, it says ma handmade. <laughs> it was only 200, 240 calories. Damn, it was pretty good. I think we did a storm chase one time before, and I got a chimmy, chimmy taco. I thought it was made by... Oh, well. Anyway, it was really good. I think a couple storm chases go... Um, year or so ago I got a burrito and uh, it was the worst uh, worst burrito I ever got <laughs> so I was quite happy All right, let's see what we got here I don't even know where I'm at I'm just going to drive around a little bit I guess this is the area of the floods up this is all St. Pete right here. Kind of exploring a new area that I've never been. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. There's St. Pete down there. St. Pete straight ahead. Cool. There 
responder yes tv cool man so i got fox and weather channel just uh tag me to use that video that i just did <laughs> i drove all the way to panama come back home and uh the only video <laughs> Um, that anybody wants um, was one I took in my back backyard. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Hey, so we flip the channels today, and you see Causeway video. It was ours, and we should be tagged on it. All right, so let's watch these storms come in here. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Go down to the top. Other side of the... I'm going to get a lot of wind reports right now, but nothing, uh, nothing showing up. Just straight line winds. So we got a tornado warning really close to St. Augustine um, currently. Finally started to see those videos from uh, Tallahassee. There was definitely houses underwater this morning from the floods. Had a flash flood emergency this morning on in um, Tallahassee. That was that same cluster of storms Come on, dude. We got um, the same cluster of storms I showed last night coming in in Panama about midnight. Big drop. <laughs> Not the big line. I can't believe it. I've never been here. I don't even know what made me type this in. Try, try a different spot of um, an old scanner. This rain is not really the the, uh, the main rain. This is the uh, pre pre rain. <laughs> One thing, if my heated seats ever broke in my truck, I'd have to get that fixed because when I go out and get soaking wet, it's the only thing that I have to look forward to is my heated seats that try to help <laughs> try to help this situation. All right, so we'll go down here a little bit and check out what's cooking along the water. Little change of scenery, it looks pretty cool, huh? We got some palm trees. So we can find a spot right out the storm. Probably what we need to do. It's pretty out here. Look at this bridge. I need a nap. <laughs> nap would be good, right? I don't know. Hopefully, Emily gets to play her good softball game tonight. So, this is Tampa Bay. That's pretty awesome. All right, we'll go right.
So he's changed the name from four-way stops to always stops. You notice that? I'm not supposed to go straight, maybe. I don't know. We'll just kind of ride around a little bit. No wake. Oh, this must be where it floods. I just saw a sign that said no wake. <laughs> oh my god, there's a little flooding already. Freshwater surge. Oh, they're gonna try to clear the drains out, get ready ahead of the storm here. He didn't look too happy. <laughs> well, this might get some uh, some rain. This is right in the bottom of Tampa Bay. This is where um. Pretty much, you get all the winds. This is all right. cool, man. I, I love driving, obviously. Uh, but this, I've never been down here all the year. I mean, I'm a native. Look at these, look at all of this wind kicking up. Ooh, that water's coming in pretty hot pot now, man. Signs. Make it U-turn. I ain't making a U-turn. No, we just got a severe thunderstorm warning right where I'm at. St. Petersburg. Looks like we got a sort of a warning just came up. I might be able to find a cool little spot up here to. Watch the um, swamps come in. Somewhere down here, we'll find a little park or something. Palm trees that always amaze them damn things are so tall and skinny. <laughs> and uh they, they survive everything. I don't even know how. Alright, let's get the thing back to where to go. So we're Snell Isle. 
kind of who this plays before me. We'll just follow the. We'll just follow everybody. I don't know where that line of storms is still out there, so we're gonna see it here on the rise. And I'd like to get a little closer to the water. I think this road right here might have a good spot. There's a little bridge up here. Little bridge up here. We'll cross the bridge and hey, Bob Parrish. I'm back in um, St. Petersburg, <laughs> kind of close to home. Kind of going to work 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 our way over to um, Pinellas County Coast. Right or left? I think we need to make a left, actually. Yeah, the water is kind of sneaking up there a little bit. High tide is still about an hour away. It just fascinates me to see seawater rise. I don't know what it is. I mean, Florida is flat, right? I mean, it ain't like it's. Yeah, they changed. Everything's all way now. It used to be four way. Now it's all way. I don't. I don't know. I don't see four way signs ever. Pretty much on the uh, south side of Pinellas County right now. Cool road though, man. Yeah, it good. Three million dollar lot. <laughs> Three million five hundred thousand. Oh my god. They're not afraid to advertise it. But then you look at these homes. <laughs> I guess. It's a scenic drive, it said. How about that? Stop for pedestrians. All right. There's no pedestrians. Yep. Lots of miles in two days, Chad. Yep. I just left. Uh, I, went, I didn't even. What the, um, yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I've been gone more than a day. There's that water pushing in. Wow. You can see that tide. It's pushing in hard right here, man. That's crazy. There's St. Pete Pier over here. All that water gets pushed into the bay here. There's a sailboat. What the hell do you think? Oh, let's see here. Let's put in here. Oh. that way yeah Google's telling me coastal flood warning might affect your route <laughs> it could Bunch of power trucks over there staged up. There about six of them. That's what they do, man. They get uh, pre calls, and guess what? They're here over there right now in St. Pete. Just in case. So, this is St. Pete, a little tour. We always like to take rides together. Maybe we'll hit Shore Acres on the way back. I want to hit, I want to head over to. Uh,
the other coast, about 10 minutes away here. Looks like Bayshore, actually, but it's not. Reminiscent of Bayshore Boulevard. All right, well, the radar, we got rain in East Lake. Anybody in Pinellas County getting their dose of rain? I'm trying to figure out what to do for Sarah's birthdays um, Saturday. So let's check the Rays a minute ago. Guess what? The Rays are playing Saturday at four o'clock. So I have a feeling we just got a severe thunderstorm warning in Pinellas County. Alert! 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 Oh, let's see, weather flow. Up a job. So anyways, we're thinking about going to the Rays game on Saturday, maybe for Sarah's birthday. She'd love that. So if anybody's going, 4 o'clock. That's where I'll be, hopefully. That's just like a fifty five trying to cross here. Maybe not. This so we're the part of the Pinellas County that we get the storm at the very, very end. This is fifth coming. All right. So we're gonna be about ten minutes to the other side of Pinellas County here. We're gonna be um checking out the beach side. That's where I wanted to go, actually. Well, the Rays emailed me the Papa John's thing's open, but oh my God, it's a little pricey. <laughs> 60 tickets. I don't think you got to buy all 60, though. All right, so we're going to get on interstate here. We're about 10 minutes from the Don Cesar. That's what I put in my address, so that's where we're going. Kind of where I wanted to. I don't know why I typed up short acres. I don't know what I was thinking. I hear it in the news all the time, but but then I saw a sign in somebody's yard that says no wake zone, so they must get a lot of rain down there. I'm more curious over here where they don't get a lot of water. Madeira, Reddington. Hey, Lori. Yep. Yeah. Yep, I got salt water pretty good there at the causeway. Shower time. Okay, we're not far from where I wanted to go. All right, so south, yep. I don't think I ever took that road ever. 375, I take, I take it into the Rays, but we never exit this way. We go over this road all the time. I don't think I've ever been on this part of 375. That's it. I always look down. I see all the maintenance stuff over there. <laughs> well, straight ahead is Tropicana Dome. If you wonder where the Rays play, right there. There you go. That's the Rays. I don't know if you, hey, you can see it off to your right or left a little bit.
All right, so the, the squall line is still right over the Gulf, and it's kind of kind of getting close here. It's already made its way ashore north of me. Largo is getting there right now, so it's kind of you know it comes comes in at an angle. Southern part of Pinellas County is the last one to get it. Still got some straight line winds with it for sure. Not really seeing any spin up though. So here it's on this one morning for Pinellas County from I think the same cell actually. Well, the good news is we had a good test. We got the um, crew crew stream working. We got the uh, camera working without a glare, which has always bugged me for the last two years. So I'm gonna reposition it, and uh, there you go. I can, now, I, now I can use my uh, floodlights without making the webcam impossible. So I suspect if there's going to be any sort of water coming in, it's going to be as soon as that storm passes and we have uh, wind shifts straight in from the west. They have not closed the skyway. That's a surprise. We were just on the skyway cool about a week ago doing doing a little uh, cloud chasing. <laughs> we do a lot of these uh, chases here in Florida with uh, it's not really storm chasing, it's kinda like cloud chasing. Rain chase. I'm a rain chaser. Alright, what else? Beaches, here we go. Yeah, I guess it's been a long couple of days. Hmm. Not quite 48 hours. Just saw a sign for Publix. Publix. Sub with the taste pretty good right about now. All right, so we're about four miles from where uh, maybe if we're going to ride it out. Let's see. I guess we'll slowly take the trip back home. Should start to see a dark line ahead of us here, or an actual storm cloud. Well, look at all those people have pushed, pushed, you know. I'm you know I'm a racer when I say pushed. <laughs> they didn't quite make the corner. Understeer. That's so F1 calls it understeer, and uh, NASCAR we call it pushing. <laughs> My car pushes.
Well, the storm is getting upon us, so let's um, let's watch it come ashore. tickets Oof. I, don't know, I don't know if we have 30 friends hmm. actually we go to Ray's game we actually we just we, we hang out at the damn Budweiser deck we like it <laughs> when we get the kids uh, usually a ticket along the outfield like fence it's because they like that and then we usually just buy a cheap seat and stand the whole time. Okay, here we are, Pinellas County Beachside. Let's see what the water looks like. It's climbing a little bit. Not a lot of people on the water. Now, in December, we had two things happening. We had a lot of um, rain, which we haven't really had a lot of rain. And then we had some salt water on the Deer Beach side. Pressure's still 10-10. It really got low. My theory is we get the bigger surge when we have low pressure. Man, I'm gonna need gas again. I'm down to eight seven miles. Can't well man, we had a serious headwind coming back um, home. I mean literally it was a straight headwind. Oh man, this line is taking forever to get here. It's already raining in Largo. There's folks out riding their bikes. Oh, I guess they don't watch the weather. <laughs> They're going to get caught. So who's ready for hurricane season? Man, when they're calling for, like, weather bell, their headline said, hurricane season from hell. That's what they're calling 2024. 25 to 30 named storms is what weather bell says. I think um, Colorado State was 23, maybe? Euro 21? I don't know. 11 hurricanes. A little more Bermuda High, I think, is going to set up, which means we might have a little more East Coast action, a little less recurves, more Caribbean action, and more maybe Western Gulf action initially in the early part of the season. before the front start coming down and um, pulling up our systems and turning them. Yeah, St. Augustine had a pretty good looking uh, tornado signature there not too long ago. A little uh, south of Jacksonville. They might have had a tornado. Radar is like extremely slow. 
I hope you see the line. I see the line. Look, look, look. I see the line. There it is. We've been chasing that line for a day and a half. We hit that line at Panama, and, it, and, and we got in front of that line, and here it is again. <laughs> Wish I could just park on the bridge. Tornado warning for Tampa. Uh-oh. Florina just posted that. I don't get it yet. I get brute very chat. There you go. There's a line. Ooh, my ears popped. Oh, there's a tornado. Newport Richie. It looked like it. That bridge is so high, my ears pop. Alright, so I don't know where we're going to go. Passer Grill, maybe. Treasure Island, Pride Lane. Let me go south a little bit. I don't think there's any anywhere really nice to park, though. I kind of want to park towards the water here. Watch this thing come in. I think I'd have better luck going north. So we're going to go north a little bit. We're going to watch this line come in. So we got tornado warning in Newport Ritchie. That's just north of us. Might have to do some videoing too, so bear with me. to find a little alleyway to park our car here and leave it running. You guys can see the, the storm clouds rolling in. We do have a lot of sand dunes down here, so it's going to be kind of hard to find a spot. Wind's picking up for sure. It's a tornado. Yeah, we definitely got a tornado. looks kind of... I think I mentioned that one, didn't I? I said it looks a little suspicious north. Sometimes the radar indicated, you know, sometimes they don't really amount to anything other than a strong thunderstorm, but still a lot of wind. So we're technically in like what, St. Pete Beach right now? St. Pete Beach? Be a little park right here. Beach access. Next signal. Let's see if there's a parking spot. We park a little to the north. Might be able to see. Uh, got a lot of alerts. Oh, we might be able to. Let's just go in here. Screw it. We're getting to the point where I don't want to miss anything. So. Let's go in here. There's the Pinellas County Sheriff's checking us out, waiting on the big storm. Oh, see all. All right, so we're gonna park pointing to the storms here. I might be able to take my drone out. I don't want to go in. Since we can't really get the water, I didn't want to park. A little farther away and we can get more of a wide angle look at the storm. Get some palm trees blowing in the wind. Why does that say do not enter? Oh, or not. Alright, so let's just kind of park watch the storms come in. Hmm, where would be a better spot? Let me go around here. Let's go between these sheriffs. Off of the coast here. Oh, 
don't even know if there's anybody in this. I, uh, oh, yeah. Went down on that. All right, so we're just going to kind of turn around, even though I'm not supposed to. We'll just ride it out. See what kind of cool video we can get. We'll park it like right there. How about that? All right. Perfection. So we're uh, got a tornado warning just to our north. What's up, Shelly? Indian Rocks Beach. That's pretty close to where I'm at, Jennifer Taylor. So there's, yep. Oh, you're right. It's, it, it's, it, is, it is Indian Rocks Beach. So we got two tornado warnings. We got one in Indian Rocks Beach, which is literally just north of me. We always watch uh, storms from Indian Rocks Beach. All right. Well, anyway, so the line is like literally just north of me. And we can arguably say that. It has the same signature, so we could possibly get something too. Yeah, we got two tornado warnings north of me. One in Largo, Indian Rocks Beach. There it looks that one, and then um, one in Newport Ritchie. Not to see. Oops. Oh, where am I getting anything here? Okay, LB with the Jacksonville and Johnny. too far to go north but that's actually clear wall is that another one oh indian rocks yeah kind of indian rocks bel air clear water which would be which is going right towards oldsmar you can please refrain from all other traffic other than emergency traffic and then traffic between EOCs and state three every time i always chase the storm always comes to oldsmar <laughs> oh my goodness i can't believe it it might just slide north of us but uh, emily we're all getting it oh god they're getting a tornado warning in palm harbor they're probably like oh my god so man that storm cloud's still out there i could bring my drone up there's really nothing to look at i mean it's not really that exciting you can't you can't really see much Unless there's a tornado, maybe. Maybe that would be cool. I don't know. Maybe I should try it. I don't even know if we can handle this wind. If I get a tornado warning, I'm going to put it up. I should be able to see that line of storms out there, I would think. But I can't really see it. Oh, what the hell, man. Let's do it. I got it all charged up for a reason, right? All right, so let's turn everything on. I got everything plugged in. There's my doot, doot, doot. We'll take it up a little bit to see if I'll... <laughs> we'll take it up a little bit to see if uh, the wind isn't too bad for it. Supposed to handle 50 miles an hour, so this will be a good test. Do, 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 do. Hey, I can fly it right here. I can see. Got a peep, dude. All right. All right. Don't run into the truck. Oh, you're waiting for GPS signals. Hang on. Now we got GPS signals. All right, here we go. Trying. All right. Oh, 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 there it goes. Here, we'll put one in front of the camera real quick. In front of the truck. Look at this. Watch this. This is so awesome. Watch this. I'll do it right here. 
Look, look, look. Oh, it's not liking that wind too much. Oh, oh, it's trying. You can't even see it. It's trying. There we go. See it now? Oh, yeah, you can see it. It's just kind of in the tree line. I'll go up a little bit. There it is. See it? There it is. Yay! Doesn't like that wind. All right, let's go over this way a little bit. That way, that way if it blows, it at least blow this way. Oh, yeah, that's a good shot. It's handling the wind really good. I can't believe it. Until I see it fly over there in the water. Oh, God, it's moving all over the place. Oh, I hear thunder now. Oh, man, this thing. Oh, that thing is freaking. It's trying. Look at that beautiful picture there. Look, see it? Well. Well, I can't really see anything too exciting, just clouds. Oh, it's just warning me. Um, high wind. That's pretty neat. Um, let's see. Definitely handling the wind really good. Let's see a break in the clouds up there. I mean, I could probably see where that tornado... Well, actually, this thing's got a really good zoom on it. Look at that. See? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, the clouds are pretty good, actually. This is really neat flying from a truck. Man, you can see them flying by. I'm kind of in sync with my radar here and uh, what my drone's doing. I'm at 87%, so that's pretty good. I got the gimbal going a little higher now, finally, too, which is great. I don't really see anything. I mean, we captured. Oh, I just saw a seagull flying. I thought it was the drone. We did get the uh, Oldsmar uh, walk, um, tornado there back in December. So that was super cool. good. Too much contrast. We're only 85 feet up. This really wouldn't be a good picture of sent post, really. I mean, that ain't no different than a normal uh, afternoon thunderstorm. Thunder. Thunder. Oh, hell, I was recording. I didn't know that. Three minutes of nothing. You know, I'll be able to zoom in here, though, to see if there's any surge. Ooh. Maybe a little water rising. 
Well, we're going to go north. Oh, I just heard thunder. Thunder. Got a flag or something. I could take a cool video maybe with the flag, but I don't really see. I see one, but it's. So we got tornado warning just to our north, literally. Um, oh boy. It didn't like that. Almost lost it. Can you see it on the screen there? Yeah, you can see it. No, it's a bird. Yeah, you should be able to see it. Oh, yeah. No, that's a bird. Why can't you see it on the screen? It's right there. How come you don't see it? I see it. See it? Yeah, I guess she's. It's rain. Oh, let's see. There's a little couplet right there coming in. Let's see what that looks like. Possibly something right here. Let's see if that one ends up being tornado warned. That's far by. I think you can see. We well, can see these low-level clouds, man. I mean, they dip definitely. Oh, let me get a little better angle here. Good stuff there. Man, look at those clouds whipping by. Call that the low level jet. Oh man, I can see the water, the uh, rain, rain line coming. Big blast of rain coming. Now they're really with anything on there to write home about, so I ain't worried about it. I'll bring it in before the rains. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. I can land it right by my door here, so I don't have to get out. There you go. Oh, yeah. All right, mission complete. All right, let's see what this storm does, and then we're going to go see if we get any surge happening. What's that? Well, 
a little bit of water. Didn't hurt nothing. I gotta go pee. I gotta go park over there. <laughs> oh my god, Chad, you remember that? Oh my god. Yes. Yes. When was that? I forget where I was at. Um. We were somewhere. God, I jumped in the car. Oh, you know what? It was chasing, um, it was that tornado over by uh, the East Coast. It was by the intersection. I remember I pulled off the side of the road, did the drone way up in the sky, and then, um, yeah, I remember that. Because I jumped in the car and started taking off. <laughs> And, uh, it's like, oh, wait. <laughs> so I don't remember what I did. I think I had to come back or something. Nah, I, had, I think I had to go in reverse or something. <laughs> oh, God, that was hilarious. I almost forgot. That, that would have been hilarious. I mean. All right, let's park. I need to go to the bathroom. We'll take a, uh. A little two second break here. You can watch the pretty clouds. Shelly, you can entertain everybody. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I just turned my truck off. I guess it'll be all right. Emily got my truck the other day and she called it disgusting. And I like my truck. A lot. I don't see anybody else. So he's got a warning for something. Hmm. Really, think the only significant thing with this storm so far has been Weather Nation. Yes, thanks. Cool. It's like a Weather Nation, Weather Channel, and Fox. I'm using my little video I just did, which is kind of neat. Um. Let's go north a little bit, see what's cooking. Still waiting on the damn main rain line here. Should like literally get us any second.
Oh, so a potential tornado was around Indian Rocks Beach, correct? Um, there's one St. John's County. There's been quite a few today. Maybe. Well, the secret to the video that I posted was that um, oh, it's the strongest winds coming in right now. I'm going to go. Well, let's see. I think we've got a bigger one. Um, was the sign doing this? Everybody likes the sign when they do that. So, All right. We're going to drive around this mess now and see what kind of stuff we can see here. There's nothing on the damn camp radio. Okay. All right, let's go north a little bit. Let's go to Madeira Beach. Man, I guess. Got four Hurricane Expos coming up. I'm wondering what this one email was. I got another email that came through for somebody. I can't remember what, who he was. was I think that was Perry Taylor. Taylor Cotton. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I think there was um the rays. All right, going north. Let's check it out. It's gonna start getting heavy rain here in a second. Go by John's Pass. Just sitting here. I mean, look at those clouds. I mean, they're literally probably. I mean, can't even imagine how fast they're going. Hundreds, a couple hundred mile an hour. Oh. Well, a little bit longer here. We're going to go a little bit farther north here. And um, check it out. What kind of action we got up here? They had a tornado warning a little farther north of me here. Still a warning going on, but it's definitely uh, moved on. Did three warnings pop up just like that. Newport Ritchie. Um, what was the other one? Right around Tarpon, I think. And then uh, Indian Rocks. The main line is getting close to us now. Well, the December tornado up in Panama, we were actually a couple hundred yards from it when uh, it just passed through Panama. But it was at night. You can kind of see it on a few of the lightning strikes, but wasn't really clear enough to post anything. A lot of rain. But that was an EF3. The truck was rocking. It was a little hairy. Obviously, did a ton of damage up there. I drove by a lot of the damage yesterday. Places I couldn't get to after it first happened. Oh. All right, so this is where... Um, 
like it got a little more, a little more stormy here north. Good little bars down here. Food and grill. Truck coming behind me the other way. Well, anyway, here's your little tour of um, Pinellas County as we go north. Kind of technically still St. Pete Beach, I reckon. Getting up to Treasure Island next. The wind line is like literally right here. There is a little interesting little couple, couple right here coming. Hmm. I think it might be worth parking for this thing. This actually it, um, might be a little something trying to spin up here. I'm going to go a little north. So Treasure Island definitely gonna get a little pop of wind here in a second. It's, um, I'm sure there's somebody in chat right now talking smack about chasing rain <laughs> we've had our share of storms just not today well actually kind of did well we, we had some moments it's a heavy little line coming in right now this one would be pretty good Let's try to wrap up or not. Guess we'll just drive right into it and see. So let's we'll start looking for water here now. This is my goal all along to come back here and see what kind of water we might see trying to sneak over the seawalls. Right now it's just uh, rainwater. in here real quick is check one little thing out okay. now flip that way for a few seconds okay, let's leave right here for a second let's see what this thing happens here we got Minute to let this line pass us.
Anyways, these things are starting to look in or there's one at Citrus Fernando County. It's got another tornado warning, it looks like, for where. We just got a new tornado warning. But I think it might be in. It takes forever for it to get updated. Oh, hell, I don't even have my radar scope. I gotta remember to do that. So there's a new one Town of Country. This little guy right here. There's all kinds of tornado warnings in the other coast. We got one just north of Daytona Beach. Two of them, actually. Been a lot of tornado warnings with this uh, system. All right, so I took over here to my trusty uh, little wind map here. Let's see if we can. What's up, Brew Crew? I haven't even popped over here. What's going on over there? Going as a viewer. We got 50 people over there. Town and country. There you go. <laughs> hey, Shelly. Chat's calm. That's good. It's kind of boring. Treasure Island, one along fire. Oh, I get 9-11 uh, alerts on my phone, too, so. No. Another tornado warning two minutes ago. That must be the town of Country one, just south of Oldsmore. It's one, there we go. That storms everywhere. Storm Prediction Center just posted a new Meso scale discussion showing continued uh, Interstate Four. <laughs> Interstate Four corridor. Anybody in the red area? That's called the Interstate Four corridor. That's where our good friends at uh, Direct Remodels talk about it all the time. Hurricane season, 40% off. One of the top com companies in the state. Big fans of our page, giving you all 40% off. Man. Can't get that anywhere. So live in Central Florida, ready for the season. No more plywood. <laughs> I have the link on my YouTube link on the top of the page. Oh, man. All right, let's start driving a little bit. All right, surge, surge time now. Let's see. This is a little too far south, I think, from where... Oh, God, that's a big bump. I mean, look at that. Now we got daylight. <laughs> I knew it was far in front of this thing. Uh, Oh, 
some street flooding a little bit. <laughs> Holy cow, we're getting a lot of water over there now. I don't think, I think that's. We'll get on the other side of um, John's Pass. A lot of this uh, fresh water. John's Pass, where, up here? Yes, yes, John. Well, we'll get an idea of how the water is here first. And right up, oh, right up to the dock. Wait, that's not dock, I think it's here. Oh, it's, it's over the dock. Hmm. So we'll go over here to our seawall spot. I always like to check in over at um Redding or uh, Madeira Beach. It's definitely over the docks. Hey, the good thing is, once it passes, it's over. Not like yesterday. That thing rain train in the Panhandle, like I've never seen. The amount of flooding that I saw in Panama City, and then when they got up in Tallahassee, it was like unbelievable. No model predicted all that. Oh, yeah, we get a little water there. Oh, yeah, we get a little water there. It's probably peak about right now with the tide, so within the next 30 minutes. You see, um, it's definitely breached the seawall there. Huh. So we get a little, little, little bit of uh, uh, water coming across the um, seawalls. When it comes in, it is like quick. We'll go a little farther. Oh, man, there's a lot of water now. People are really... I see, then there's sunshine. <laughs> so crazy. Uh, is this Reddington? No, yep, maybe. Treasure Island? Yeah, Shelly, well, you're, you're in that little wrist zone of, um, oh, man, there's some serious water. Holy cow. Where'd that come from? Oof, you people going to stall out here. Oh, that Cadillac's going to be underwater. Oh, man, that ain't good. Do one of my videos up here. Everybody likes it when I do these surge videos. Everybody goes bonkers when I post a video on water, so I'm gonna do one. I know it's gonna be worse farther in. That's but this area always starts to go downhill, man. But those those cars are 
sinking deep. So this is where I forgot I got my blinky lights because, uh, holy cow, that guy's home butt through there. It's not smart. Oh, <laughs> jeez. All right, give me a minute. I'll check this out. You can enjoy the surge while I video. All right, y'all have fun watching that. <laughs> That's pretty wild. It's still coming down. I'm gonna go farther. I want to see if um. I got some good video. I should probably post it. Some good water right there. It's like a little river. Let 
There's more up here. Let's go this way a little bit more. All right, I want to see if we get any seawall action. Oh, we just got an email from school saying they did a duck and cover. Sarah's going to have a story to tell now. <laughs> she gets all excited. She's like, Dad, there's a tornado. Like, she's a little weatherman. So that was it, man. We got blue sky here in a second. Let me get some water up in oh, So we will trek on north here and see... Kind of water we got flooding wise. So let's see tomorrow how it looks. So we got nothing in the next few days, so that's fantastic. Turn off the computers. <laughs> Crazy thing this morning was uh, the trees down on uh, US 19. Remember coming around there, right in the middle of the road? Whoa. Let's see. All right, so we got a lot of water here. I don't know if it's surged though. What's the difference? A lot of this is fresh water. Oh man, here. <laughs> Secret is you'll start to see sea foam. And uh then you know it's salt water. All right, so this is the area that we used to get some sort of water up over the back. You might just do a video video of that because it's just crazy to see the seawall. Actually, we still got a little ways to go, and I think since there's no outlet. It just pushes up in there, and it just keeps uh, accumulating in the inter intracoastal waterway. Oh wait a minute, that was that was this is John's pass. What the hell? No. Maybe? What bridge is this? Oh, this is John's pass. What the hell was back there? Look like John's pass. <laughs> Somebody on there probably was corrected me. Okay, here's John's pass. Well, not like it was. There's some water here, though. This, this, oh, this is fresh water, probably.
a little bit of water. Camera's a little dark. Well, there's a lot of water up here. All right. It's not as bad. Definitely. Oh yeah, it's it's crested the seawall over here. County trucks over there. Blue skies are coming. We had a bars. <laughs> Oh man, it's definitely touching the top there. I'll have to cruise up to Oldsmore next to see if um, Tampa Bay, Upper Tampa Bay, has got anything up by me. Because usually when we have water here, then we have water there. And we had more persistent winds from the south, so I have a hunch that Upper Tampa Bay might have more water than the. Oh, there's a lot of water there. Um, Upper Tampa Bay might have a little more water than normal. There's all kinds of water down here, but nothing's in the house. So. I'll go check my deer out, and then we'll come back here, because there's definitely a lot of water on these side streets. A lot of storms in the middle state now from that line, though, so everybody else is still watching. It's not even near Lakeland yet. Just getting through Tampa now. I can imagine Interstate 4 is awful. Barely touching Orlando now. Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. Let's figure out Sarah's birthday party. She's 15 years old. I can't believe it. I think we're going to go to the race. I got to figure this out. She loves the tailgate. The weather's going to be beautiful. The four o'clock game's great. That means we can tailgate around noon time. And we love to tailgate for four hours and do nothing for four hours. <laughs> so we cook out. I bring my little Zero E Furman electric generator we run the radio we got a fan we bring a margarita maker <laughs> all right let's go over here and see how the water looks top of the seawall I remember high tide was around 130. Oh man, it is so close. This is um this is the seawall that in December we crested it. And right now 
it's literally probably like four inches. So once it toppled that, everything went downhill. So it didn't quite do it here, but the docks are all, all underwater. I'm um, gonna we'll go back to that one road that I want to see if the seawall. Oh, let's see. What is this all about? Gotta like them new windshield wipers. <laughs> By now they would be going swing, swing. Kind of want to get a cool shot of the ceiling up here. Kind of been toppled a little bit. In the daylight, I never see them in day. I never. It's always at night. They're always doing this at night. So, so many good little restaurants down here. So many restaurants, not enough time. For lucky lizards. <laughs> it's got another alert. Storm 17, severe thunderstorm for Pinellas County. How's that possible? Till 2 p.m. How do we just get an alert from Pinellas County? Well, that's south. Oh, yeah, that's south Pinellas County. St. Like Pete, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> well, if your phone's like mine, your phone's been uh, going hyperactive today. Warnings. Oh, there's some more over here I saw. It. Maybe it was the next one that I'll. It's right there. I just saw a street. I just saw a couple street vehicles over there. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, got a sheriff over here with lights on. Video time. Wow. So here we go. This is all coming up. Well, so this is where the seawall came up on one of them. Let's see if this is my buddy. Another 40 minutes of high tide. How you doing, man? How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, I was curious. I, I came all... I, Figured there might be some, figured there might be a little flooding, you know? Yeah. Well, we got, I think two something was our high tide, and this is just, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. So, we get another horse for them? Uh, the high tide's about another 30 minutes. <laughs> I don't know. 
Man, people, they were hauling ass down there, like, over here, too. I mean, they, they're going to flood. They're going to flood their cars out, man. Well, at least we didn't get We had a lot of tornado warnings, but nothing. Went, I was in Largo, and the lightning was insane. Was it? Maybe like in Sydney. Yeah. Crazy. And then I came back down to the city, and it, uh, I, I mean, this is kind of typical. Yeah. Heavy rain, but I think it went fast enough, though. We had the rain later on top of the high tide, I think it would be worse. Yeah. I think. That's what we had in December. I think there was a lot of rain. And then that surge came, you know. Yeah, the surge, so. I might I hang out a little bit. Like, I don't have my, my four-wheel drive is, is being fixed, so I haven't even been on the beach. So I don't know what the beach looks like. Well, this is a different area, because I went to Madeira and it wasn't that bad. So if you go to, like, some of the, uh, the condos, and the parking garage right, goes right up to the, right over the seawall. Oh, really? Yeah, a couple of people here on the bus, just a couple of over here. Cool. See out. So, yeah. All right, well, cool, hey, man. Hitch. See ya. Hitch, over? Oh, yeah, blue sky. Very nice. See you, buddy. Take care. Thank you. Yeah, so this uh this is all sir this is all uh um coming in off the seawall. High tides in another thirty minutes, so just wanna hang out here a little bit and see what happens with the high tide. Nothing's in the house with me, so that's good. But this might be good drone footage time right here. Let me get a game plan because this this is drone footage time right here. Oh yeah. I don't even. Oh man, look at this water here, Jesus. <laughs> It's really coming up now. I think we'd find Surge. Just don't know where we're at. <laughs> Hi. Hi there. Hi, Mike. <laughs> well, there's a lot of water. I'm gonna um I think I, I think it might be good to do a little drone footage, huh? We want to be some. I mean, it was definitely worse in December, no doubt, but. It's still, uh, still rising, so. A little bridge up here. Some of these houses that actually had water up to their, um, base in December, so it's definitely not as bad, but. I'm going to have to Google a uh, high tide. It's pretty deep right here. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's definitely getting deep. Play with my drone, I think. Because there's a lot of people driving around. I think that was fresh water. So they definitely got hit. Even just, just me being a couple miles further south did not get the rain like they got up here.
All right, let's do a little drone action here. This is cool. Bear with me. I can see it right from my windshield right here. Obstacle switch is on. Battery's 58. Oh, shoot. I probably should put another battery in here. I got four of these batteries, so I... It'd be kind of stupid not to use a nice 100% battery when I have four of them. Do it again. Let's try this again. <sighs> You get like sound effects from a drone. Go, 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 go. So, Good. It's always so hard, man. Judging the power lines. So I've never done like a surge video. Well, I kind of did, I guess, one time. So let me just try it like this. I think I should go a little higher. <laughs> this is also cold dry. Let's see. Not pretty good. I can get a um program that would actually um transmit the signal, which I think would be really neat.
view is not bad. Cars in the in the water. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to dramatize the flood. I'm not standing out there. Oh, I want to get this water. There's there's a shot here. I want to get with the um, where it's coming across the sea wall here. Takes good pictures. It's always scary. I get like a mile away. Can you still see it though? I can't live without my little pointer. So I'm actually got pretty good. I don't know if you ever flown a drone or not, but it's pretty satisfying. It's, you feel like you're like flying <laughs> in real life. Utility truck. Or a uh, lineman. All right, I got a good, I think. There's my truck. Here it comes. There she is. She's got those power lines. I got to go on this side of the power line. Thank you. 
water one more time here. I might have even posted. I mean, it was alright. It wasn't like the best thing, but still fun. Palm trees. I hear you. Could possibly get wanted for something. I don't know. But. Let's see. I'm going to pull the card out. The last one was pretty neat. I might put it up there anyway. Some people might like it just because it's different. I got my PC here, which makes life a whole lot easier. So, let me. Edit the last one. I'm going to throw it up on. Oh, it took off the first one. All right, here, give me a second while I upload this uh, little video. I got a lot of stuff on there. All right, Max 83, was that the one I just said? Nope, it was Max 82. All right, so we're going to edit it with ClipChamp. I start moseying back. Take a shower. Got the only softball tonight. Hopefully the field didn't get messed up, but they got no more rain, so hopefully. All right, so we're not going to do that now. Microsoft Live. Who the heck uses Microsoft Live? Yeah, the video came out pretty good for rookie. We'll do it right there. How about that? Forty thirty seven seconds. All right, we're gonna export ten eighty. Why not? Call it. So we're technically, I don't even know, are we technically? Click. Madeira Beach? I think we are, because I saw Madeira Beach. Um, where trucks driving through. Yeah.
Yeah, I'm gonna put my beard bleach. Because it's my beard. Alright, so here we go. Let's export it. Yep. Up, 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 up. Open file. There we go. Downloads. Alright. Let's post this and then we'll head northbound. A little drone footage. From here, beach. Streets bloody. After the band. <laughs> After the band came through, little drone footage of their beach and street flooding after the band came through. What band? Marching. There we go. Look at that. After the band came through, the band's back together. All right, Mike's looking for the beach. Let's we'll drone footage from here beach today. Today. All right, cool. We got it. Let's post it. Let's go to X. X. It takes forever to load because it's bigger than this. All right, let's go to the screen. All right, well, I appreciate you all just hanging out if you're still there. We just kind of, we just chit-chat when we uh, do this kind of stuff. Cool. Looks good. Get it posted. Chevy's thirsty. Must get gash. <laughs> oh man, did I not do it right? Where the hell is Twitter at? Did I? I think I left before the damn thing loaded. That was stupid. They got it. Some places warned you. They're like, hey, you didn't finish uploading. All right. So we got one, two. I guess we can put it on the brew crew here. Let's see. And uh, let's see. All right. We'll put it on here real quick. And then we'll call it a day. Love the sound of seagulls. Who loves the sounds of seagulls? You all do. We all do. I already got one light. Ah. Okay, X. Come on. 40%. Jeez. All right, we can just let that one go. And the brew crew is at 30%. All right, so we can do this while we're driving. I need to get back home. All right, we'll just keep streaming just in case we see anything interesting. But I don't know if we will or not. The water's getting deeper up here, but I can't wait around much longer. I got to go. So not as bad as December. That was a lesson learned. I still think we need a low-pressure center. I still think we need a low pressure center um helping the surge. You ever told me one thirty one. What did you say? Where's that? It's 
Hmm. All right. Well, one more road we got to go down. It's told me to go down. One forty is hell's that? Huh? No idea. Ooh, that's deep. Oh boy. No, oh, that's pretty deep. All right, this is North Bay Shore. Imagine that Bay Shore, right? Oh no, there's a stop sign. <laughs> I just assume we're all driving in floodwaters. That one says all way too. So there's no more um no more four way stops. It's all all way. We're in one sixty first. Avenue? That was Reddington, if that's where it's at. No, this is not the one called. Man, it's, it's pretty deep, I will say. There's a lot of water. It's coming up. I don't know where it's coming from. Oh well, interesting, right? All right, a little bit of water. Water is definitely coming up more high tide to something. All these little streets now are underwater. They weren't underwater before. But not as bad as it was in uh, December. I mean, yeah, it's bad, but December we had cars actually underwater. So that's good. Bad, good. <laughs> oh, what do we do? We just keep, yeah, let's just keep going straight. This is a nice little ride. We can stay away from traffic. One last little hurrah. Well, I saved the day. Hopefully, they they didn't call Emily's softball game. I was like telling the coach, like, please, it's gonna clear. <laughs>
Like, you might be out of here by 1 o'clock. We're supposed to play at 4. So Julie just texted me that the game was still on, so... All right, so the rest of the state still got some big wins. Lakeland's just getting uh, close to it now. Um, Bartow on the edge, Kissimmee on the edge. Orlando's kind of broke up a little bit before Orlando. So just enough gas to get home. Call that a day. So we'll be live tomorrow for the Daily Brew. If you're interested, <laughs> we might talk hurricane stuff. I, sh I reshared a few things from the National Hurricane Center today. Um, changes we've talked about, but some people might not have caught. So we'll be um, do a little hurricane stuff tomorrow. Next week's normal Monday. Wednesday, Friday, I think. God, I got so much going on. I don't know. We got a bunch of Hurricane Expos coming up. I'm doing Dunedin, which I got to email them back. Doing something for Madeira. I don't know what yet. I'm doing Palm Harbor, doing Oldsmar. Doing a big thing with the state in next week, two weeks. Hell, I don't even know. But they're doing a. Um, the hell's that on top? Damn tree branch fell on my damn charger. <laughs> Looks like a spider. Ah. Well, that didn't leave a mark. We have legitimate uh, damage at home. Always something. Hope not. But anyway, we'll do hurricane stuff to the next uh, as we get closer to kickoff May fifteenth. We'll start getting National Hurricane Center updates. Um, that's our two o'clock, eight o'clock. That's when we start getting the crayons out. Yellow areas of interest. So, believe it or not, that's like a month away, almost. So. Um, Tax day is April 15th, so it's one month from that. But, uh, yeah, I believe that. And June 1st, it's here. Everybody gets so worked up, and we don't get a storm for months. <laughs> and everybody forgets, and then, boom, we get store storms and We have two surges. We have the initial, everybody gets hyped up for June 1st and nothing happens. And then usually around August, we get our first major threat. Last, uh, the year of Ian, we didn't have a name store storm from July to August. Remember that? It was like a 60 days spread of no name storms everybody's like this is crazy it was like the longest 60 days of um no name storms and then i think i don't know was it ian the first one out longest longest stretch ever july and august You never know what you're going to get. Box of chocolates. 
Okay, we got a bridge up here. I think. Mmm, I need some food. Two o'clock. I should probably get some food. I'm all salt watery. Well, hopefully none of these tornadoes did any damage. They were just uh, Doppler. Radar indicated, hopefully. Hopefully nothing. It's too bad. Seminole and Pinellas Park. I guess we'll take this one. This guy turned in there. Oh man, his little side of his car is like smashed up. He did. Oh, I don't know what he's doing. He's locking his brakes up. Alright, so, man, that boat, <laughs> it was tall. I mean, the water's on the edge, it's like, the, I don't know, three or four inches, it would have been a lot different, but hey, that's good. Bridges, this one. It's middle, you don't know what the bridges is. Alright. Well, anyway, alright, well, listen, we had a lot of fun, I hope, uh, Hanging out together, being bored together. More importantly, taking a nice ride and uh, seeing a lot of Florida. <laughs> a lot of Florida. So, um, we uh, appreciate you tagging along. Did I lose my live stream? Appreciate you tagging along, and uh, we will um, do it again if, for the next one, if there is a next one. Because <laughs> it seems like the last two have been a little, little lame, and that happens sometimes. We still got a lot of tornado warnings on the other coast, so. So the line is still strong. Right now it's currently down in Bradenton and Sarasota area, and it's making its way through Lakeland and Orlando. The land. So still got some still got some winds to it. Sarasota's definitely got a strong wind signatures. That's why we have a tree branch on top of my car. <laughs> we get a shirt. We survived the uh, cold front of April. April eleventh. All right, I'm going to sign off, everybody. Have a great weekend. We'll be live tomorrow. Not a lot of weather coming up. High pressure taking over next week, um, keeping things quiet, bringing back the heat. We'll see a lot of 80s and 90s out there to, next week. Um, a little change of pace, right? Cool. All right. Well, see you all later.